What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1002 examination. So let's get into it. Now, I understand that this is going to be a very short video, briefly glancing over some of the various features associated with different versions of Microsoft Windows. The first thing we got to talk about real quick is this thing called BitLocker. So BitLocker, this is a full volume encryption feature included with Microsoft Windows versions, starting with Windows Vista. It is designed to protect data by providing encryption for entire volumes. By default, it uses the AES encryption algorithm in Cypher block chaining with a 128-bit or 256-bit key. A companion program called BitLocker to Go, that encryption encrypts removable disks and USB drives. Next thing we got to talk about is this thing called Windows Media Center. So Windows Media Center is a discontinued digital video recorder and media player created by Microsoft that allowed for users to play videos, music, and display slideshows. In addition to streaming media from sites like Netflix, Media Center was first introduced to Windows in 2002 on Windows XP Media Center Edition. It was included in Home Premium and Ultimate Editions of Windows Vista as well as additions on Windows 7 except Starter and Home Basic. It was also available on Windows 8 Pro and Windows 8.1 Pro as a paid add-on before being discontinued in Windows 10. Although it can reportedly be unofficially reinstalled using a series of command prompt commands. Next, we got to talk about Branch Cache. So Branch Cache is a wide area network bandwidth optimization software technology that is included in some editions of the Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10 operating systems, as well in some editions of Windows Server 2012, Windows 8.1, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows 8, Windows Server 2008 R2, and Windows 7. Branch Cache was designed to allow for efficient use of bandwidth for remote offices and clients. To optimize WAN bandwidth when users access content on remote servers, Branch Cache fetches content from your main office or hosted cloud content servers and caches the content at branch office locations, allowing client computers at branch offices to access the content locally rather than over the wide area network. So in layman's terms, branch cache caches the most commonly requested data on the client computer so that the bandwidth is not wasted on repetitive data requests. And then let's talk about encrypting file systems. So the encrypting file system on Microsoft Windows is a feature introduced in version 3.0 of NTFS that provides file system level encryption on all Windows systems. The technology enables files to be individually encrypted to protect confidential data from attackers with physical access to the computer. And now to wrap this video up, what I have on the screen is a few graphs here that show you feature comparisons for Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10. Now, I'm not about to sit here and make a video that's going to outline every single difference and feature from each version. What you can do is go to my website, technologyg.com, and these graphics on your screen will be on the website for your viewing leisure. All right. So in summary, we have briefly talked about some of the various versions of Microsoft Windows and quickly glanced over their features. Now, once again, go visit my website, Technology G, so that you can check out all these wonderful graphics right here so you can get very familiar with the differences between the various versions of Microsoft Windows, all right? Now, if you felt like you have gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to to this channel. Like I said earlier, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.